Hello guys, welcome to MK Mobile. Thank you so much, Hi Moon, for letting me use your account again because I did a review yesterday on some Shirayu Ryu Tower gear and the buffs, and some pieces blew my mind. They just seem like they they're gonna be absolutely the best gear in the game. And today I want to use them maxed out and see if it's actually as broken as I thought yesterday. And we're gonna start with Scorpion's armor because that one I think blew me away the most. So Spectre Burning Vengeance now is absolutely ridiculous. User deals additional damage to opponent team and applies team fire. It's just ridiculous. Team fire on special attacks. It's just one of the most... Imagine this on MK11 Scorpion because he can stack fires, which means... And, and it, it already has these fires can stack, so it, it will technically work on any Scorpion. But just imagine this with MK11 Scorpion. It's going to be the most insane thing you will ever see. Trust me. I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to doing this. 40% chance to gain part of power when opponent resists a debuff. This one is like... It's, 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 it's worthless. Let, let's be honest. This one is going to trigger maybe... Okay, certain towers... Certain towers have tower gear that have resistance to debuffs. So sometimes they will resist your fires. And certain characters... I wonder if the character is immune. Will it count as resisting? Okay, this... And, and it's only 40%. So 4 out of 10 times when they resist, you're going to gain half a bar of power. Half a bar of power for MK11 Scorpion is like 2 hits. So I, I don't think... It's not completely worthless. It's like it's it's nice to have, but it's something that is if it was gone from this piece, it would still be the most OP piece in the game. Uh now here where absolutely insane ability comes in, user explodes into flames when defeated, dealing 30% or 15% for boss for bosses. And apply team shield break. Oh my god. So you, for example, imagine this. In my opinion, the perfect scorpion to put this on is MK11 Scorpion, even though it will work on any scorpion. Hanzo can also benefit from it a lot. Wait, doesn't even have to be scorpion. Wait, there nothing here says scorpion. It just could be worn by anybody. Put it in Johnny Cage. Anytime he punches somebody in the balls, the whole team is gonna get set on fire. In my opinion, this is the first ability is actually more OP. Than the level 10 ability even though level 10 ability is also amazing uh and it, it, in case something goes wrong and the character dies it's gonna deal massive damage to the entire enemy team 30 percent even for non-bosses imagine facing some super powerful fatal battle team characters have millions of health they're gonna lose 30 percent and not it, it, it's 30 percent not of their remaining hp level 30% of their maximum HP. So if they all about 30%, they're, they're gonna get back to one HP and you can just smash them completely. This is one of the best pieces of gear in the game and we're gonna test it out today on MK11 Scorpion. Uh, I don't know if High Moon is doing towers. He is, okay, but these battles, these battles are not even close uh, to being challenging enough. Yeah, this is not gonna be challenging enough. How do I get, I know how. We're gonna do a survival run. Now, it's extremely dangerous to use this gear in survival because it makes MK11 Scorpion just a fire machine. And if you face MK11 team with Jade, you're gonna be screwed. But I don't care <laughs> because I want strong enemies. And I'm gonna be testing it together with Spectre's Infernal Chains. Uh, this piece has also been reworked. And now you have higher chance to drain power in special one. You can avoid damage from their special attacks, 25% chance, which is good. It In survival, like, it's not anything to brag about. It's like, uh, it's basically complete random and it's it's gonna not trigger in the least, uh, like, in the worst moment possible. I can guarantee you that it, it will, it will absolutely devastate your life. But the best thing about it is that it sets, uh, it, it adds additional fire, which for Kill and Scorpion will stack uh, also, it will uh, pull them back. It's like basically giving Scorpion uh, Combat Comp Johnny Cage ability and reflect damage if you do avoid. Like, it's it's incredible. It's, it got buffed as well, in my opinion, by a lot. So both of these pieces got buffed into Oblivion. And let's destroy Elder Tower in survival. All right, watch this. 
Well, don't watch this because there's MK11 Jade and she heals the entire team, which is kind of unfortunate. But there's nothing I can do about it. But she she still melts. This is pretty early battle, but it's getting it's getting serious. It's still gonna gonna be more serious than the regular faction wars. All right. So I should. For every special attack I do, I set the whole team on fire. Can you imagine this? Does it register in your mind? Do you think this is for real? Do you believe it's real life? I'm blind. Ooh, blind is bad. Blind is very, very bad. Oh, come back, buddy. What's up? Let's set the whole team on fire, if you don't mind. Didn't work. Didn't work! What is this scam? You suck. Oh yeah? Why didn't set the whole team on fire? Maybe because it died? Okay, this worked. Two fires. That was beautiful. I just realizing something. Why on earth am I testing this in survival when I I can't even die? I can't afford to explode into flames. This is going to be also so good for the boss battles, but honestly, if you're at the point where you have maxed out epic tower gear, I don't think you care about extra 15% chance, extra 15% damage to the bosses. Like, for beginners, it would be super useful. But where do you see a beginner with maxed out epic tower piece? This is a problem. Team fire, though. Team fire, though, is super useful. Even at, like, I think it's like minimum two. So if it's like fusion zero, I think you get two. Maybe you get one. I'm not entirely sure. And also try not to kill, not to kill them with your special attacks, because otherwise it's not gonna set anybody on fire. Like now it worked because there was revenant. Impressive. This time it didn't work because it actually killed them, but it's fine. I cannot wait. I, I, I'm gonna ask High Moon to tell me when he is in like highest battles of Nightmare Tower so I can test the setup in the tower. Now that's gonna be really, really good uh, indication. And Nightmare Tower is perfect because uh, technically Shirai Ryu tower, uh, tower gear doesn't get, boost the stats. So like, I just want to see if it's gonna be useful in all the towers. Because in survival, I can I cannot take advantage of him him dying, which in certain matches I think could be a game changer. Like sometimes, just sacrificing your character for thirty percent damage to the entire enemy team could be very beneficial. It just hurts for it for this character to be in Kill Him and Scorpion, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. You can give it to Classic Hermic. <laughs> And just d do 10% with Classic Ermic, and then additional 30%. Uh, so basically, your Classic Ermic will do 40% damage to the entire enemy team. And 25% damage to the whole boss team. That literally makes you beat the boss battle. Worst case scenario, to beat regular boss battle is 4 tries. Just with Classic Ermic with maxed out this piece. That That is insane. That is kind of crazy, don't you think? I think it's pretty crazy. But then what do I know? Fight. Oh, it looks like they fixed the stun duration, right? I don't even I don't even care if they block, it still sets them on fire. Oh my god, imagine this with Pyromancer Tanya in it. Oh, yeah. And that against hardest battles in Nightmare Tower. I'm, I'm, I I, want to make this video so bad. I'm killing and Scorpion just doesn't know how to Impressive. not be awesome. <laughs> He's just melting things. Oh my god, this gear is insane. 
I wouldn't go as far as to call it the best piece of gear in the game. Not yet, until I try it in towers. Because right now, I cannot even test the max stability. But still, applying team fire on special attacks. That's just, that's just OP. And considering you can stack it. Oh, God. That's just insane. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this melting. Oh my god, I want to try this with Pyromancer Tiny so bad. But too late, I'm already locked in survival. The only problem is killing them with your special attacks. That kind of defeats the whole purpose. Unless they get revenant like little trash like they are. Okay, I might need to do some healing for this guy because <laughs> I've been using him pretty much for every single battle. He's a little exhausted. Wow, what, well done, Raiden. That was impressive. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it to him. <laughs> Battle 10, we have a Day of the Dead team. Aren't you happy to see them? No, you're not. Don't lie to me. So what if you, like, if you just want to set them on fire, instead of killing them, you can just do this and do, like, low percent. Then they're not actually going to die and your fire will work. Or do it when they're blocking. This is actually going to be more effective, I think. Ooh! What on earth was that? Oh, that was me evading special attack. It finally happened for the first time in this entire survival run. Burn! Burn, girl. I enjoyed it. Ooh, this one this one is gonna be tough. Revenus Belina. I need to I don't wanna heal my team because everybody's full except Scorpion. So maybe I'll I'll let Scorpion sit this one out. I think my newbie boy and uh and Raiden can handle handle themselves here. Oh, wait, I meant to set one out. Why did I tech to him? Anyway. Let's apply a couple fires. Let's make sure he doesn't die. So we're gonna do this. Oh, that's how we do... Oh, 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 we're in trouble. We're in big trouble, ladies and gentlemen. I have a feeling Melina is going to take in and wreck me in pieces. I'm going to try to intercept her tech attack. Whoa! Dude, relax! Okay, I need to do my special too because that's going to create a shadow which hopefully Melina will take in and... Oh god. No! Bad, bad. I have no idea what gear I gave this man, but I'm happy. I think it's uh, Misfortune Teller because it, that that the only one that made sense here. Oh my god, and I'm healing. I'm insane. I'm insane. Oh, I don't. I I can't believe this. I can't believe this! I was so cocky. I, I thought you're in my hands, girl, and she just wrecked me. I did not. Screw it. I'm not using revives. I don't care. I, I, I already tested everything I needed to test. I don't care if I win or lose this battle. I don't think High Moon also cares. I don't I, I'm not gonna use his revives. I'm just gonna try my best and see how it goes. I I, I already enjoyed playing with uh with this new gear so I'm, 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 I'm my, my main goal is accomplished but let's see if we can win this whole thing just using just using him kill and scorpion 
I think it's possible. Even though that Raiden is gonna take it and wreck me into pieces. Except you're not allowed to leave, son. Ah, that was... Poorly executed intercept. I'm not doing so well right now. I'm not doing so well, guys. I'm gonna be honest. I'm doing pretty badly. I don't think I can win this. But as long as MK11 Scorpion is alive, we're gonna keep going and keep burning them fools. Battle 13. Okay, this one shouldn't be too... Oh my god, classic Liu Kang is gonna be healing like there is no tomorrow. But there is tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm gonna get destroyed here. And it's gonna be very embarrassing. This guy is gonna um, score. Uh, I need, I need, I need to kill the scorpion. What? Oh my god! I can't even break your block. Liu King is just loving what's happening right now. He's just enjoying it so much. Oh my god! I can't believe this. He's enjoying it. He's on top of the world right now. Too bad, son. Too bad. Sub boy. Sub boy, like a pro, just destroyed the team. And I think I even ended up with higher health than I started with. We're still alive. We're not out of commission just yet. Battle 15. Guys, 14. Do you think I can win this? Without using skips, without healing, without revives. I'm not using any of his consumables. There's just no point. Fight. The only thing that's gonna wreck me if I get him kill 17 with Jade. That's gonna be absolutely devastating to me. Okay, the turtle is bad. The turtle is very bad. This guy has this this guy has insane tower gear, I can tell you that right now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're done. Oh we're done here. Maxed out Dark Mantle. We're done. This is this is it. This is it. This is I can't believe I escaped that. I can't Oh my god, and maxed out uh I, I had no chance. This guy had maxed out tower gear. I didn't even use that much tower gear on my team except Scorpion. Well, that was embarrassing. But the point is... It's cool. It's cool to be able to set so much fires. I think it's going to be helpful in some of the most difficult tower battles that don't uh, care about the dots. Like, there's no kill of a jade. So I'm looking forward to using this in tower. For now... I think it might be the strongest piece in Shirai Ryu Tower, but I don't think it's the strongest piece in the game. Th there is there is more versatile pieces of gear that work for more scenarios. I feel like in Kill Evan Scorpion already doing so much fire, and with this piece of gear you can increase it even more, which, like, once again, in the tower is probably going to be very useful. In survival, not so much. <laughs> that was a terrible way to test it. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed watching me getting absolutely destroyed in Elder Survival. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.